believe that any people who are doing time in jail for drug-related offenses are political prisoners. And the, the sort of street idea of keeping six and watching our backs, we have to get back to that because no one's going to save us but ourselves. We can't wait for the city councillors anymore. We can't wait for other people. We have to lead in our own freedom here. And that includes, sadly, the prison industrial complex. We have, you know, we have brothers and sisters inside who are tortured and set aside, left to be in pain, left to kill themselves under surveillance. Nikki Kish is doing time in jail for life because she was panning in front of a, a, a Royal Bank type place or something in Montreal or Toronto. A young woman who kind of understood she already did prison work. She was an anarchist. And she was panning and a couple of white guys came over and started jacking them up and fight. They basically started a fight with these two women. And Nikki Kish accidentally killed the man in the fight. And she's now doing life in prison for a defensive manslaughter. And it's very sad. And it's very sad to me that here in, in Victoria we're so railroaded. We have so many moles and rats around us half the time. We don't know who's who because we're all fucked up ourselves. Sorry, because I sure feel that way a lot of the time. And it's, it, it just seems that we just have to get back to day to day. You know what I mean? We have to learn how to call people out and then forgive and keep moving. Uh, most of the shit I learned, I learned from the street and from my mom. If there's anybody out there I want to remind people, please come up if anybody feels they want to.